Hello, this is Luke again, and uh, here are my difficult cases for 2013. This is case number one. It's a male patient, 60 year old. We have no history of this lesion. It has been discovered on systematic examination. It's on the um, upper part of the right buttock in the sacral area. The patient doesn't complain about it. It's not painful. This is a close-up. And this is the dermoscopy. Don't forget that this is uh, contact dermoscopy with pressure. Here are my comments. The background is pinkish. You can see granulation, grayish dots uh, in different parts of the lesion with sometimes an, a granular annular pattern. But this grayish coloration is uh, prominent and observed almost everywhere. And you have uh, these red dots that are not erased by pressure. So it's purpura. That's why we did not consider the diagnosis of a pigmented lesion but we made the diagnosis of purpuric vasculitis and histopathology proved the diagnosis of purpuric vasculitis also known as lichen aureus in French. This is case number two. It's a very young female patient. She's only 12 years old but the lesion was not present since birth. It occurred at age 10. The patient, her parents and her doctor is very frightened about this lesion. This is the dermoscopy and you have few seconds to think about this image. But don't forget that this lesion is recent and it's changing a little over time. This is a close-up of the dermoscopy. And here are my comments. The background is brown. This indicates that there is a prominent uh, uh, melanocytic hyperplasia in the nail matrix. And you can see that the longitudinal lines are irregular in color, spacing, thickness, and there are some areas of parallelism disruption. This is the pattern observed in melanoma. Yet the patient is 12 years old. But the lesion is acquired. That's the reason why we decided to perform a surgical exploration of the nail matrix. And this is a dermoscopy non-contact polarized light dermoscopy of the nail matrix. Again, you have few seconds to think about this pattern. Here are my comments. It's an irregular dots and line pattern with irregular globules, irregular in size, in distribution in, uh, on the nail matrix, and also in color with darker and uh, not so dark uh, globules. But the lines are very irregular too. They are regular in thickness, in color, and in spacing. So this was an irregular lines and globule pattern. It's a malignant pattern observed in melanoma. So we did a surgical excision of the spot and we concluded to uh, acral longitudinous melanoma in a 12-year-old uh, girl. Uh, fortunately, the breastal thickness was very small, 0.1 millimeter and we could perform a conservative treatment with no amputation of the right thumb 
in this very young patient. Let's go to case number three. This is a male patient, 46 year old, and he noticed this red spot on the gland penis uh, a few months ago. It's not painful, it's a little itchy, it's not bleeding, and it's very slowly growing over time. This is dermoscopy, and this is a close-up of dermoscopy, and you have a few seconds to think about this image. Here are my comments. You can see round shaped vessels. Uh, with higher power we could see that they are glomerular, but it's impossible to see with a handheld dermoscope. So these are only round shaped globules at this magnification. And you can see also that whitish areas are visible. They correspond to uh, squames of uneven thickness that produces uh, different shades of white. This image, of course, is in favor of Bowen's disease in situ squamous cell carcinoma of the glans penis. Uh, localized treatment has been performed in this patient has been incurred by a, a non-surgical uh, procedure. Case number four. It's a 70-year-old male patient. He has a painful uh, big toenail and the lesion is uh, evolving since at least three years. He already received three lines of antifungal treatment. This is another view of the lesion. It's an amelanotic and pigmented lesion, erosive, with change of the nail plate, bleeding, it's somewhat painful. And this is dermoscopy. Again, you have a few seconds to think about this image. And here are my comments. Atypical vessels are observed either under the form of milky red areas or under the form of uh, linear and irregular vessels. These vessels have a very changing size uh, along their, um, their um, diameter. And this is very irregular and indicative of a malignant tumor. But you can also see that there is a blue spot and this blue spot can be considered as a remnant of pigmentation and a typical vessel plus remnant of pigmentation are very highly suggestive of melanoma and unfortunately this was melanoma very thick six millimeters of breast low thickness the patient had a positive central lymph node and also a complementary lymph node dissection was positive. This patient unfortunately died within one year and a half after initial diagnosis of this very thick melanoma. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Talk to you next year.